Hello. Um, earlier today, I was I just decided, really, I don't know exactly why, but I just decided to watch some of the tsunami uh, footage from 2004. Um, I think it was December, maybe the 26th, when it occurred. Um, and I watched some of that footage on YouTube and was just, you know, struck by the devastation as anyone would be, I think. Um, and just the, the fact that every, all of that happened so quickly. Um, lives were lost so quickly. Um, an event occurred that no man could have controlled, um, could have stopped. And I don't know, it just kind of, it really, some of the footage really bothered me and I just kind of wept over it, you know, the loss of, of lives and the children and um, the parents without children, you know, just the, the very human, basic <clears throat> human level, I guess, <clears throat> as a mother, especially, uh, kind of mourned with uh, families who, who provided information um, regarding what what had happened to them and what had happened to their children, some of their children anyway. Um, but I was just struck by how quickly our lives can end, can, can just be, you know, one moment in the middle of great happiness and in the next moment <clears throat> maybe something happens to an individual that's like a car accident or or, you know, whatever the scenario is, or it could, you know, be mass destruction, as would have been the case with the tsunami. But I guess the point I'm trying to make here is we do not know when it is our time to to face death. Um, and I, I kind of, you know, thought about that quite a bit uh, after watching the footage of the tsunami, and I actually prayed and... Uh, just ask the Lord to kind of guide me as to what I need to do while I'm still here. And he's told me in the last few days, he's given me very specific direction that I'm to speak his truth. Um, even when there are many who would stand in opposition. Uh, but I just, I wanted to bow before him again today, earlier today, and just, just ask him to give me strength to do it because in myself I can't, but with him I can. And he spent a year really building me and molding me and instructing me and gently guiding me. And uh, it was about a year ago, I think I would have posted another video and uh, where God had told me some things that he wanted me to do. And at that time, um, <clears throat> really, there was a, a very real sense of fear that came upon me because... Well, because it was Satan, number one, um, and I was confused. I didn't exactly know, but he wanted me to trust him in that. Um, and so he has spent this last year, and it took, it, it didn't occur until December 30th, just a few days ago, 2013, that I fully understood what he has been calling me to do. And, and throughout the year, even um, in, in measured steps, he's been you know, opening doors and telling me to speak up uh, and to speak his truth even when I'm surrounded by those who would be in opposition to me. Um, but in that year, he's been kind of guiding me, and it was the other day where he definitively showed me. <clears throat> so all of this is, has kind of been uh, reaching this kind of a head, a pinnacle here of of direction for myself and trying to follow what the Lord wants me to do. Um, but as I was praying, you know, that the Lord would help me, you know, just to reach out to people. I guess the the saddest part to me, uh, even with the, just the, the mass destruction and people dying as a result of that tsunami, um, the saddest part to me would have been how many of them were given the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, but chose not to. Um, and then a little bit later this evening, I had come across not, you know, purposely looking for anything related to the tsunami at all, but God knows all. Um, I had run across a picture, and the picture showed this massive body of water, and 
huge waves this massive in this massive body of water uh, with a bunch of ships that had capsized as a result of this you know this huge water force uh, much like a tsunami but in the middle of that you know that what appeared to be destruction in the middle of that there was what represented a boat an, a, the ark if you will it said it said the ark for the 21st century and it was um, much like a boat but it took the form of the cross and it said get on board before it's too late and I, I thought you know that is the perfect message that only God could have given to me in such a short period of time after I watched and after I prayed regarding you know what we're what I need to do and what all of us are supposed to do um, but how I can help in that process um, and it's to it's to share the truth of Jesus Christ with people to let everyone know that no matter what devastation uh, knocks on our doors and no matter what uh, disasters befall our lives as long as we are on that boat of Jesus Christ, that ark, that, that safety, then we are okay, no matter what comes. And I guess the greatest peace I can have in thinking back to the video footage that I watched earlier today, and of course years ago when it originally happened, I would have seen the, basically the same thing. The greatest comfort is in knowing that every single person who died would have been given the opportunity to accept Jesus as their Savior. Every single person. And there were those, I'm sure, who did. But there are also those, and I'd say several, who did not. And the Bible even tells us that no one can argue really against the truth of the Bible being presented to them because we see it in everything. We see it in creation. Um, but I guess my I'm, I'm making this video just to encourage all of you who are in Christ right now, time is short. And even if the quote-unquote world doesn't come to an end anytime soon, there are lives every day that come to an end. And it's that life and those lives we are to reach out to and, and try to pull them on the ship of safety, the one that will never capsize the one that will never be taken over by a tsunami wave. There's no destruction on the cross and the work that was on the cross. So if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, now would be a good time to do so and to understand the role of Jesus Christ and that he walked the earth. God became flesh and he walked the earth and he walked and lived a sinless life. He walked in perfection, yet he was tempted as every one of us is tempted except he overcame it by way of um, the Spirit and the fact again that he was God in the flesh. But he was crucified, not for anything that he had done wrong, but what we had and continue to do wrong. So when you, and when you profess your belief in him, you're also acknowledging that after crucifixion, he rose again. And by professing your belief in him, you're also saying and completely believing that what he said, the words in the Bible, are all words that we must live by. And there's no way we can unless we have him and we abide in him. So let's just reach out and, and try to to gather in as many as possible before the next time of destruction, be it a massive number of people or an individual person. The time has come that we can't just idly sit by. I mean, after watching that video even, you know, I, I kind of looked around the living room and thought, why am I sitting here? There's so much work to be done. There's so many souls that need to be saved through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. May we never forget that.